Hi there. Now in this question, we're told that a curve has an equation which satisfies dy by dx equals kx multiplied by 2x minus 1 for all values of x. And the point P with coordinates 2, 7 lies on the curve and the gradient of the curve at P is 9. And what we've got to do in the first part is find the value of the constant k and in the second part find the equation of the curve. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you're done, do come back and uh, check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So if I'm doing something like this, I'm going to just draw a sketch just to illustrate what's happening. OK, first of all, we'll have our two axes here, our x-axis and our y-axis. And we've got this point P with coordinates 2, 7. So we'll just say that's the point P with coordinates 2, 7. And we've got a curve that passes through this point, And at this point P, its gradient is 9. So it's a positive gradient, very steep. So the curve could be looking, say, something like this as it passes through the point. OK, there. In other words, the tangent, if we drew it in at that point, would be very steep with a gradient of 9. In fact, this curve is a quadratic curve and uh, it's you can see you're going to get 2x squared here and it will be a curve that will look something like this. Not that you necessarily need to know that to do this question. Anyway, so that's just a simple sketch, a basic sketch then of what we've got. And to do this, what I'm going to do then is we'll just take the fact that dy by dx equals kx multiplied by 2x minus 1. And we know then that when x equals 2, we know that the gradient given by dy by dx is 9. So by substituting that into this equation, we should be able to find out what k is. So I'm going to say then that when x equals 2, we know that dy by dx equals 9. And so therefore, substituting it into that equation, we end up with 9 equals k times 2. OK, k times 2. And if we put 2 into this bracket, 2 twos are 4, minus 1 is 3. So you've got 6k equals 9. Dividing both sides by 6 gives us k equals 9 sixths, which if you divide top and bottom by 3, gives you k equaling 3 over 2, or 1.5. I prefer to leave it as a fraction, though. OK, so that's that first part. So let's just border that off here. Now, for the second part, we've got to find the equation of the curve. So you might like to pause the video at this stage. I'll give you a moment to do that, just in case you want to have a go at this question. OK, welcome back then, if you did carry on with this. So we now know that k is 3 over 2. Now to get the equation of the curve, y equals, in other words, some function of x, what I've got to do is integrate both sides of this equation. And so that gives me y equals the integral of the right-hand side here. Now we know that k is the constant 3 over 2. And so what I'm going to do is pull that out the front of my integral sign. You don't have to do that, but it's, I think it's a good habit if you do. OK, pull constants out the front of integrals. It gives you less work. And then we've got x multiplied with the 2x minus 1. And we're integrating this with respect to x. Now, in order to integrate this, I need to expand the bracket. So we've got the constant out the front of the integral still, 3 over 2. Then we've got the integral. And expanding the bracket gives us 2x squared. 
and then x times minus 1 is minus x. Don't forget that we have two terms, so we need to bracket those up, and we're integrating the whole lot with respect to x. Now, if we integrate the two terms inside the integral here, then what we get is for the first one, 2x squared, we just add 1 to the power, remember, so that's x to the power 3, and divide by the new power, so we divide by 3. For minus x, we add 1 to the power, it's already x to the power 1, so that's going to now be x to the power 2, and divide by the new power, 2. And we mustn't forget we've got a constant of integration, which I'm going to call c, so we add c to the end there. I'm now going to just expand the bracket, I think it's going to look a lot easier to work with. 3 over 2 times 2 thirds is just going to come to 1 because the 2's cancel and the 3's cancel. So that would be 1x cubed or simply x cubed. And then 3 over 2 times minus x squared over 2 is going to give us 3x squared over 2 twos of 4. So it's going to be minus 3x squared over 4 or 3 quarters x squared. And then we've got the constant plus c on the end. Now we're going to need to work out what c is, so I'm going to number this equation 1. And to find out what c is, we need to substitute values of x and y into this equation. Well, we know that the curve passes through this point p with coordinates 2, 7. So in other words, we know that when x equals 2, y equals 7. And we can substitute these values into equation 1 and work out what c is then. So if we do that, what we've got is for y here, it will be 7. So therefore, 7 equals x cubed. That's going to be 2 cubed. And then we've got minus 3 times x squared. That's 2 squared, all divided by 4. And then plus c. Now if we work out this side here, we've got 8 minus 3 quarters of 4, that's going to be 3, 8 minus 3 is 5. So therefore you've got 7 equals 5 plus c. So if we subtract 5 from both sides, c must equal 2. And to wind this up, we'll just sub the value of c back into equation 1. And that gives us our final answer that therefore y equals x cubed minus 3x squared over 4 and then plus c which is now 2. Okay.